Hello friends, let us do body fluid compartments. This is part 2 and we are mainly focusing on measurement and are used. In new MBBS curriculum, it is competency number PY 1.6. We know that body fluid compartments, they are measured by dye dilution or indicator dilution method in which volume is equal to amount of dye or indicator used divided by average concentration of dye or indicator. This video is mainly to prepare dye used and for that we are using many mnemonics or just tricks although they are not scientific just to remember names. So first question we are putting like this who can measure the water there is a film Shole in the film Shole in which the dialogue is who can save you all from Gabbar and the answer was only Gabbar Gabbar himself that's all same way who can measure the water same logic filmy logic only water water itself so radioactive water heavy water that is deuterium oxide and tritium oxide they can be used to measure total body water because these dye they crosses blood vessel also and cell membrane also and equally disperse in the whole body fluid second question what is in the water what is mixed with the water from in inulin from mix or M manitol. So to measure extracellular fluid, we can use inulin, we can use manitol and what is in the water? Of course, we can say it should be salt. So radioactive sodium and chloride, these dye can be used to measure extracellular fluid as they cross blood vessel but these diet does not cross cell membrane so they can measure extracellular fluid and our third tricky question is where is the water or what is the color of the water so we can say water is everywhere so inside also all around also so from inside i iodine all around from a albumin so radioactive iodine and albumin can be used to measure plasma and color if we have to choose the color of water it should be blue so evans blue also can be used because these two dyes they cannot even cross blood vessels they remain in the blood vessels so they can measure plasma so for all we are having some radioactive substance definitely radioactive water for total body water radioactive sodium and chloride for extracellular fluid and radioactive iodine albumin for plasma and some other also as far as intracellular fluid is concerned it can be calculated it cannot be directly measured so we can calculate like this total body water minus extracellular fluid same thing for interstitial fluid also it can be calculated like extracellular fluid volume minus plasma volume so this was all